all right welcome back guys i appreciate y'all tuning back into the channel this time we were over in new orleans for the jag saints game on thursday night and the day after i wanted to do something out on the town with my lady and we uh checked out this la petite chef a dinner experience 3d dinner experience over at hotel montalia hope y'all enjoy it it was really cool one of a kind type of stuff it was really really dope Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to welcome you to the La Petite Chef Dining Experience, created by Spermapi. Let me give you a couple of tips in order to get the best experience. Please, remove your personal items from the tabletop so that Le Petit Chef does not trip as he likes running around. Place your napkins in your lap and make sure your plate is perfectly aligned with a magical circular mat. Please, silence your phone so as not to disturb the other guests. And now, without further ado, I'm coming to introduce to you, all the way from France, measuring six centimeters, the world's smallest chef, Le Petit Chef. So what we have for our first course is we made a bouillie base. And what a bouillie base is, oh, bouillie base, sorry. It's a burrata salad. And what, a burrata, uh, what the burrata is is that Italian cheese is in the center. And it's very similar to something like mozzarella. However, when you cut into it, you're going to see some stracciatella, which is just some cheese that's been teased apart by hand. And underneath the burrata, you're going to have an arugula salad that's just tossed in a little bit of salt and olive oil. And you're also going to have some heirloom tomatoes, a couple of Easter radishes, a basil pesto on the side with some toasted pine nuts on top. And then the second star of that dish is actually gonna be that balsamic vinegar. It's actually aged for 50 years in sherry oak barrels. Let y'all enjoy. I have a 50% Merlot. I'll get you a little better picture of it for you. All right. And it's a 50% Merlot a 25% Cabernet Sauvignon, and a 25% Cab Franc. Right, this is gonna be a Bordeaux.
Where'd they put him? He got him. He took him overboard? Yeah. Oh, uh, he probably don't come back from the fire. You know, you're here, Frenchman. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess he died. He ain't died. This is a show. You don't see him, do you? He coming back. <laughs> you see? They got to listen to some music. <laughs> Protein, so you're gonna have some shrimp and some snapper that's caught locally here in the Gulf. You're also gonna have some mussels and some short neck clams from Cedar Key, Florida. And then in the center, you're actually gonna have a baby octopus that was flown in from Brazil. Mm -hmm. and then, that's right. And then on top of your uh, bread, you're gonna have a ravioli, which is an egg custard. So you're gonna have egg yolks, breadcrumbs, a little bit of olive oil. There's also some green onions in there as well. But there also is a pinch of cayenne pepper, just enough to add a little bit of flavor. And they're also gonna work in some saffron threads. Those are those red lines that you see. And I would strongly recommend dipping your bread into the broth of the soup, because that's what the, the egg yolks kind of mix in there. You make it taste a little bit better, adds a little bit more body to your soup. So I'll enjoy it. I told you it wasn't bad. I feel so guilty. <laughs> I'm chewing him. He already dead. What you gonna do? You ain't killing him? He already dead. Nigga, he was dead before you even came to Louisiana. I'm chewing a baby. The baby was already dead. Don't worry about it. And he's so tender. That's the sad part about it. <laughs> That's what we gonna do with him on top of it. Oh, cutting camera, cutting camera. <laughs> oh, the internet. I'll tell you, be quiet. Don't mess up my YouTube video. Oh, my. And then your next line right here is gonna be the 2022 Le Grand Sincere. And this is gonna be 100% Sauvignon Blanc from France, from the Loire Valley. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
third course, which I have there, is going to be the butter poached lobster tail. So the lobster is actually caught live in Maine and shipped here live still. But the lobster is actually going to be sous vide. So it's going to be sous vide in butter, chives, and black peppercorns for about 30 minutes. So it's nice, plump, and juicy. And then the sauce on the bottom is going to be a Chardonnay butter sauce. So you're going to have Chardonnay wine, butter, and a little bit of white peppercorns. And then they reduce that down to about 80%. Then they're going to add in a little bit of fresh cream, some citrus juices, tarragon, and parsley. And they reduce it by another 80%. So that sauce is pretty dense, but it is very tasty. And then they're actually going to finish it in a white truffle oil. The same Italians that make that balsamic dish in the first course, like I was saying before, actually make that white truffle oil as well. And this is by far my favorite course out of all of the courses. My favorite. A lot of people like it. Even that sauce. I usually give everybody a little cheese and just toss that all up. Perfect. Robert Foley Chernobyl. And this is going to be from the Napa Valley. And the grape in this is actually going to be the Chernobyl Cherno grape. It's going to be an Italian grape. And actually, Robert Foley is one of the only people in America to be using this grape specifically. Not blended with anything, just it all by itself. He under the glass. He under the glass. We got him with the glass. He had a bolt. He had a table now. on the grill, it's only clean. <laughs> okay. The fire cleanses it. Where did he come from? wrap around some bicolored asparagus, that beautiful piece of Wagyu in the center. The only thing that Wagyu is going to be seasoned with is going to be salt and pepper. So all that flavor is going to come from the steak itself. And on the bottom, it looks like mashed potatoes, but it's actually celeric mash. So there's no potatoes in it. It's made from celery root, fresh herbs, and cream. And then they reduce it down to get the consistency or texture of mashed potatoes. And then the sauce, is going to be a Marchand de Vin sauce. So what they do is they marinate some veal bones in a French Bordeaux, reduce it down, and then they're going to add in a little bit of demi-gloss for sheen and sweetness as well. Because your steak is going to be pretty peaky. Okay. No pun intended. Last 
find today. You're actually gonna have a brandy. This will be the La Style brandy. It's gonna be a brandy from uh, Spain. And what it is, is uh, it's actually, it's pretty good. It's a little strong, still a little bit higher alcohol content. So this one, you only need, you just need it just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with this one. And you're gonna get uh, notes of bitter orange, dark chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, and even some cocoa nibs in there as well. All right, well, let's talk. flower room. The chocolate they use in there is going to be the Wanaha chocolate. It's going to be a dark chocolate from Honduras. And then on the bottom of your La Bomb, you're going to have a chocolate biscuit, but it's more similar to something like a chocolate sponge cake. Inside that meringue, you're going to have a strawberry chocolate and vanilla gelato, some Neapolitan gelato. The meringue is going to be brewed here at the hotel, and then they top it with a maraschino cherry. It's like a mini baked Alaska. Mm -hmm. mm, very good. Oh, yeah. That's, it's really nice. Nice and kind of light. Good well, to see you again soon. Adieu et au revoir. Alright y'all, I appreciate y'all coming through and checking out the video. As you can see, it was an amazing experience. Uh, please forgive me for any commentary that you didn't care for. It's just me, being me. <laughs> but uh, if you like the video, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel, liking the video to help me grow the channel and get the algorithm on my side. Appreciate y'all tuning in. It's D. Avril signing off from April Visuals, and we're going.